Alright, today we're going to look at how to do Ajax and jQuery to create a simple login script. This is not dealing with sessions, this is simply just how to check the database. I've recorded this once and it, once and it was 25 minutes, so I'm really going to try and just roll through this, and uh, you'll learn by watching, and I'll just kind of talk through it as I'm going in, not really explaining things. See how that goes. Alright, so first thing is uh, we need to create a database that we're going to use. So we're going to go to phpMyAdmin, create a database called Users create and then table we're going to create a new actually we need to go into that database where are we users we need to create the table users three fields ID username password this is going to be an int 2 this is going to be 20 characters this is going to be 200 characters the ID is going to be auto increment and it's going to be our primary key since it's new unique. Okay, let's save. There we go. Okay, we also want to insert some data in there so we can play with it later. Uh, we want to insert one for Bob and password is going to be Google and we want to add another one for Sean. The password is going to be Yahoo. Now one thing we need to do here, we do not want to store passwords in plain text. So we're going to use our old tutorial, the hashing one, and hash the word Google, and use this in place of this. Same thing for Yahoo. This is the MD5 hash of these words. There we go. And then hit go. Okay, so now we've uh, created the data. Now what we need to do is, I'm just going to duplicate this page since this mostly has the information that we want. Okay, so open up our home folder and Ajax, we're going to need to duplicate that page. And we're going to call it login. Alright, and let's open that up in our text editor. And then we're also going to create a new blank PHP file. PHP, if I can spell PHP. There we go. And let's save that out as login.php in testing. There we go. Okay, now what we need to change here is we need to make three forms instead of two. So we're going to add a third one and we're going to make them all the same size. We're going to give uh, this one the ID of user, this one the ID of pass, and this one we're going to give the ID of message. This is going to be our returning message back. Okay, and we're going to give that a starting value. Error. It's going to start out with an error. Okay, now we want to key up. We, we don't want to call, we're going to change the function we're going to call to login. We don't want to send it a value because we're going to need to get both the values of uh, the username and password. And we want both the username and password fields to call this function. So we want to check every time you type. Okay, this is a live thing. So now we can change the function. We call it login now. And it didn't take a value. We need to get those values, so we'll go var user equals ajax, get the id of user, and we want the zeroth element dot value, and we want var pass equals the password, quote, id password, pass rather, and the zeroth element dot value. Alright, we want to get, we're going to call login dot php. And instead of this, we're going to send it user equals user. And then we're going to send it and pass equals quote plus pass. Okay, so we form this string. And then what we want to do is, what do we get back from this? Let's we'll see what we have so far. So here we need to change this to login. Okay, so, okay. so we need to style that last box since I don't like that. So we're going to style input with the ID of message. We want to change the background color, background color to white. And we want to change the border to zero. And we want to change the text shadow. Let's see what this looks like. The text shadow, okay. Oh, that's right. Background color is supposed to be transparent. There we go. Okay, so that looks dumb. So let's change the color of the text to, to white. Okay, that looks even dumber. So let's change the text shadow to black. 
that looks really good. Okay, so there we go. Now what we need to do is, what do we want to have happen here? Uh, well, we're going to get back a result. So if we have a result back, so actually if there was a success, we want to get that message. We want to have it say, um, we want to have it actually say success. And then we're going to get back, what we're going to give back is the ID from the database, so result. And we're going to put a space there, just, just to see what we can get. And if not, we're going to give back error. Okay, so for now, oh, we want to make that message. Okay, so for now, everything, because we're not connecting the database, it's always going to say error. Okay? Very good. So now we're sending user and pass. So in the PHP file, we need to get user and pass. So user equals, we're going to request from the URL, request the user. And there we go. And then we're going to the password. We're going to request the password. Okay. Now let's uh, also with that, let's connect to the database. So to connect, you do MySQL underscore connect. We want to do local host, and my port number is eight eight nine. Okay, yours may be different. So mine's colon eight 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 nine. And my username is root. I set this up earlier. Root for the password. There we go. And then we want to oh we want to make sure that if it dies, it dies gracefully. So we'll do we'll get the MySQL error. And so we can print it out to see what actually happened. And I'm going to copy this because I'm going to type it again. I don't feel like typing that again. Then we want a MySQL underscore uh, select. So we want to select the actual database users is the one we created for this and then, then we're going to use that or die thing. So again, die gracefully. Now we want to select. So I'm actually going to write this out in English for you so you can read it. What we want to do is we want to uh, select um, select the username, password, and ID from the table users where the username is equal to the variable user right? This is this variable. Okay? So, let's type that out in the actual SQL. So, my SQL underscore query. So, we're going to run a query. Right? Query. And we want to actually type this out now. So, select username password password and ID from users where username is equal to in quotes the user. Okay. Now we need to store that in a variable, which is going to be the result of that. Okay. Now uh, I'm going to run a while loop and create an array of it. I know it's only going to have one result, but I just like to type the same thing over and over again, and I know it works. So we'll do a while loop. Okay. So while, uh, what are we whiling? While we need to store a variable, so we're gonna as soon as it gets a result, we're gonna do row my sequel underscore fetch underscore array. So we're gonna get an array out of that result that we got earlier. Result. Okay. And <clears throat> we want to say if the pass that we typed in, right, is equal to in that array the row password. Right? If it's there, then we want to echo out the ID that we got back. Okay? Pretty straightforward. And if not, because it's Ajax, I do want to give back a negative result, so we're going to give back blank. And as you learned earlier, blank is false. Now, one thing's wrong with this. We did not store the plain text, so we actually just need to hash this. So, MD5, the password. If the MD5 of the password is equal to this, which is already md 5 then that. Alright, last thing you just noticed, uh, this word is spelled wrong, it needs to be result. There we go, save that. So now we should be able to check it, refresh that, and if we type in Bob, in Google, we get a success. And if we type in Sean and Yahoo, we get another success. And this number is the ID, so it's actually pulling from the database as well. Uh, one thing you might want to do in this script is change this to a password type. Now when you type in, you'll be able to protect it and still have it work. There you go.